Artificial intelligence is certainly making its presence felt in the world of entertainment, used in everything from music to movies. The question is, is it a good thing? Netflix CEO Ted Sarando said in a recent interview that he thinks the audience is completely fine with it. But what does it all mean for content producers? Joining us to discuss this red hot topic is film producer Carrie Holland. Carrie, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is a huge topic, no matter what industry is having this conversation, but especially when it comes to Hollywood and the film industry in general. What do you make of these comments? I, when I read the article, my, my first reaction was he's not totally wrong. And it, I don't think it's a slight about the industry and how AI could affect it. I often think the audience probably doesn't care as much how something gets made. Do they care if I use film or if it's digital, which lens I'm using, you know, who my makeup artist is or who, whoever it is. Um, I think it's a lot to ask for the audience to care about what is important to the people creating it. So I don't think it was anything that was wrong with what he said. I think it was more just like, or maybe it's even a question, I don't know, does the audience care how something gets made? Um, so I didn't, I personally, didn't think too much of what he was saying, um, how it pertains to how the audience feels about what's getting made. And you know, we do have to mention that uh, you know, AI was really a contentious issue during the SAG-AFTRA strikes from last year. Yeah. Um, you have major studios who want to explore using AI, and then you have concerns about the possibility that this type of technology perhaps could impact jobs. Where's the balance here between being able to explore the use of AI, using AI, and also uh, addressing these concerns? Yeah. Oh, let me first say, I'm not an expert on the issue at all. But from my own experience and just conversations, I think, of course, there's a healthy amount of fear. And especially with the strikes with the writers, I very much understand the need for protection when it comes to IP or how you would feel concerned about AI replacing you if, if I come up with an idea and then they take that idea and go on to further seasons and cut the writers out, I think that's a dangerous precedent to set. As a producer, my job is often to be at like the intersection of a guardian of the creative mm. and the business. So I very much can understand, and I think Ted Sarandos mentions it in the article, how it can be a useful tool. And I think because it's all so new, and I think it's human nature to be really afraid of change. Yes. You know, it's like when digital was coming, or you know, video killed the radio style, or like at every the internet, the internet <laughs> yeah. you know, it's kind of like an adapt or die. So I do think there's a middle ground, and I think we're at the phase, and it's important, it's an important stage of putting in those measures of protection now to protect the creatives, the artist, and to look at it also as, you know, as he mentions it, as, as a tool and a resource. So to give an example, you know, there's a tool that I love. It's, a, it's an app called Speechify, mm -hmm. and it certainly uses AI. This isn't in filmmaking specifically, but it allows me to upload a script and I can listen to it. You know, I have crazy ADHD, so it's like if I can listen to more scripts because of this AI tool, right. it's helpful. Or on a, a film, you know, if I can't afford to have 300 background extras, what are my choices? My either the scene's probably going to look really bad, um, and I wouldn't have been able to hire them anyways. But if I can use, you know, AI, it's sort of like in CGI, which has been used in the past. Can that be helpful? And then that helps make a better film. It gives more jobs or the ability to get a green light for the next one. Right. So I sort of tell everyone sort of zoom out a bit yeah. and look at how it can help. And then, of course, the concerns of not wanting it to replace, which I think it's hard, hard to do. Yeah. yeah. But um, how far can AI really go? And I want to talk in the context of, you know, you go to um, a concert and all of a sudden, I think a couple of years ago, people saw a hologram or a monogram. I don't know what it's called, but you see yeah. like Michael Jackson walking onto the stage or Tupac, you know, yeah. on the stage. Do you think we will ever see movies with AI versions of actors who are no longer alive? Yeah, it's already happened. I think, I think for, um, was it Star Wars? Or I, I don't want to get it wrong, but I believe part of the end of, you know, with, with Carrie Fisher, um, who had passed away, that they used AI and got her estate's approval oh. to use her likeness. So I do think that's going to happen. Um, I, I think you will see it. And then I, how that's going to work or how it's going to affect people, I think if the people involved are compensated and give permission, 
um, and maybe that's a win for everybody. I, of course, see the dangers, and I think that's, again, that choppy water that we're in now is figuring out where does it cross the line and abuse people's likeness and, and IP and ideas and persona, um, and then how can it be, you know, helpful if I want Tom Cruise in my movie and he's booked for the next two years, you know, if I can have an AI version of Tom Cruise, is that a bad thing? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I think we're still figuring it out. Absolutely. I'm, I'm I mean, trying to be open-minded about how it can help and very aware of how it can hinder. AI is still very new, including in this context that we're speaking about making films and stuff. It'll also be interesting to see how perhaps if you're an actor or somebody in the industry, how wills will change, you know, yeah. uh, how estates will, will communicate, whether or not you give your consent, um, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from Absolutely. now. Absolutely. There's just so much much to talk about. Carrie, thank you so much for being here with us. We really thank appreciate it. Thank you so it. much for having me. Yeah, thank you.